Now this is a question number uh, uh, conic conic sections illustration number six. Now like uh, there is a misprinting in this question, so maybe some of you won't be able to understand because of that misprinting. The equation of uh, two pair of lines um, uh, are given in this question. The first pair of line is a x square plus b y square plus two h x y equal to zero. So this this term is missing in the in the uh, text of the question, right? The other pair of lines is a plus lambda x square plus b plus lambda y square plus two h x y equal to zero. Right, and what we are supposed to do in this question is we are supposed to uh, uh, prove that, like angle, uh, prove that uh, angle between one of the lines of this and one of the lines. See, uh, we have to prove that if I take one line from the first pair and one line from the second pair, the angle they make is same as the angles between the other lines of the pair. Right. If suppose the two pairs of lines are uh, this is L1 and L2, and this is P1 and P2. So we have to prove that uh, angle which L1 and P1 is making is same as angle between is same as between L2 and P2. Right, so that is what we have to show. Now, see, like, uh, though it is not mentioned in the question, but uh, like, see, uh, first of all, see how the situation can uh, can happen. How the two pairs of lines uh, can have the situation where the angle between the one one pair of angle between the one of the lines of the pair is same as the angle between the other lines of the pair. How 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 this can happen? Suppose if I say this is your uh, pair of lines l1 l2 i can have another pair of lines like this as if as if i have uh, i have uh, squeezed this pair of lines i have decreased this angle like this i have squeezed this by angle alpha and i have squeezed this by an angle alpha so the the it can be like this or i can take it like on, on the side i squeeze this by alpha and I squeeze this by alpha. You see. So one situation can be this angle is alpha, this angle is angle alpha. So this is your uh, you know L1 L2. This is your L1 L2 lines, and this is your P1 and P2. So angle between L1 and P1 is same as angle between L2 and P2, right? So this is the scenario that is happening in the question. Or other way is, other way it can be same as like I draw pair of lines, and I I shift this alpha out, I shift this alpha out, so my another pair can be like this. Again, uh, like this is your uh, L1, L2, the new lines are P1, P2, and again the condition is true. Uh, again again like this is what we have to supposed to show this angle is alpha this angle is alpha right now third case in which it can happen is i draw a pair of lines l1 l2 then i rotate this about this point uh, about this point through an angle alpha i rotate this pair through an angle alpha right so my this goes alpha down like this and this goes alpha like this so this is my pair p1 p2 this angle is alpha angle between l1 and p1 this angle is alpha angle between l2 and p2 now you can see out of the three situations this situation is uh, uh, is not the right situation if you just consider the pair of lines and trying to figure out what's going on between them the, uh, this is not the case where the given two pairs are forming angle like this right so either the case is like this and like this and in these two cases in both the cases what we're going to do to show that 
the the pairs lines of the pair uh, lines of the two pairs form equal angles right we are going to show that angle uh, bisector of l1 l2 pair that is this is same as angle bisector of p1 and p2 right because see if 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 you know in angle bisector this angle is same as this angle if these two angles are equal we know these are also equal so these two are equal angle between bisector and l1 and l2 is same as angle between bisectors and p1 and p2 and again i repeat this this and, and it's a definition of bisector this angle equals to this angle right but as these two angles are equal these two angles are also equal because alpha alpha is same so it means this is also bisector of red lines as well as bisector of black lines same situation would exist here right this this is bisector of black lines as well as bisector of red lines other bisector but in this case this is not the right situation if you have a bisector of red lines like this and if you rotate red lines to form black lines so obviously bisector has to be rotated otherwise you can see this blue line is not the bisector of uh, black lines right because uh, uh, this angle if i say theta uh, uh, yes now after rotation this out this angle becomes alpha plus theta with a black line and this becomes alpha minus theta right theta minus alpha so one is theta plus alpha other is theta minus alpha if we rotate so this is not the case and then if you just take the specific values and plot and you'll realize the way equations are given this is not going to be true this, so how we are going to show it we show that the angle bisector uh, the angle bisectors of both the pairs of lines is same you know angle bisector formula angle bisector of this first pair is x square x square minus y square over uh, a minus b equals to x y by h just replacing the values if you see angle bisector of second pair this part is same only difference is a is now a plus lambda and b is b plus lambda rest is same right hand side is same and you know lambda lambda cancels out so both of these pairs of lines that is equations of bisectors is same equation of bisector of the first pair and equation of bisector of the second pair is same and this shows that if bisector is same it means again now i have to give the conclusion another way around if bisectors are same it means this angle equal to this angle right and and this angle equal to this angle if this angle equal to this angle and this angle equal to this angle it means this angle equal to this angle that shows that l1 angle between l1 and p1 is same as angle between l2 and p2